Hey guys, I'm Jason Cameron, licensed contractor and television host. I'm at a client's house with my crew doing some renovations right now, but I'm actually in a room where I'm not doing any work, but the homeowner asked me to check out a problem that he was having. And this happens a lot. And as you can see with this window right here, there's an issue in that corner. And I can see it visually. This is a common problem, right? You see something visually, but you can't see anything else on the wall. Nothing else stands out to me that there's a, there's a problem. That's where the FLIR 1 thermal imager comes in. This is my FLIR 1 Pro and I never leave home without this. And then my smartphone I always have on me as well. So these two things are always with me. So by using my FLIR 1, I can now look at the wall and see things that I can't see with the naked eye. So as I'm looking right now, I see a column, which is a blue column, which tells me there's a temperature differential there, a big temperature differential. That runs from floor all the way up to ceiling. Now that tells me, because it's uniform, that that's probably AC or the duct work, and the AC is on right now. So I can see that, and I'll double check it, but that tells me that it's probably utility. Now if I look over here, underneath the window, I can see another really dark blue spot. That dark blue spot tells you that there's a huge temperature difference and it's very cold. There's a register right there, so that tells me that's HVAC. That makes sense, right? But when I pan over here, underneath, exactly underneath that corner of the window, there's another dark spot right here, which really stands out in the thermal. I can't see that with the naked eye. I can see it with thermal and it's plain as day. And that tells me that that's more than likely water, but I don't know for sure because the thermal doesn't distinguish between water and cold. So now that I've isolated it with the thermal, I can take a picture, right? There's video, I can do video, but I can also do a photo. And I can save that and then show the homeowner later on and document what I'm doing. So now that I've isolated the problem with the thermal, I'm gonna use my moisture meter, which is FLIR's MR40 moisture meter. Very simple, it's very small. As you can see, it's got a flashlight, which is really convenient, and it's real easy to put in my tool belt. This is how I can tell if there's moisture. So I'm gonna turn this on. So now it's on, and I'm actually gonna probe right in that area. That beeping that you hear is telling me that it's picking up moisture, and that's 20%. There's 20% moisture right there. So just to show you the difference, if I move this over here where I didn't see any, any issue, you can see the beep is a lot slower, and that's 5%. So there's definitely a concentration of moisture right here. So by using the thermal imager, my FLIR 1 Pro was able to see the problem, and by using my MR40 moisture meter, I was able to confirm the problem. Now I can fix it.